So here's a version of what I'm experimenting with, the Kappa Gen. And basically for those who don't know how, or what the idea behind this is, is um, a setup with coils here which allows us to tap some of the power from the ground from two separate distant ground locations and feed it back into the system. So a sort of um, AC system. And I decided to experiment with the concept but I don't want to use a spark gap for now. Most people use a spark gap in high voltages. So I'm using my um, capacitive AC power supply here, which drops the 110 volts down to 40 milliamps. And I use that to um, source the coil. Now, because it's the middle of winter here, I don't have two separate grounds. So I would set up the grounds here be like this two separate ground points but I don't have that I just want to test the coil to see if it functions well and it's doing a pretty good job for what it is now I just want to share this extra part with everyone who's been experimenting with this a little bit of um, Bedini talked about this his uh, magnets this is where I got the idea where he wanted them to pulse in a certain way and his electric capacitors so that reminded me of in ham radio what they call the gimmick capacitor which is done basically with a um, short piece of coax here so what I've done for the core in here is I've used an LMR 400 hardline as my core so I actually this is kinda of like a microwave power supply where I have the core running live in this case and I have this set up as as I cut it as a um, gimmick capacitor so the core exhibits capacitance so the idea behind it is because I, when you're pumping the capacitor the like Bedini notice you get some electrode effects so I figured if I can pump the core that way while we're energizing the Kappa Gen any little bit extra obviously is better right so I've noticed just from turning it on some pretty good results um, I'll give you an example. I got the 15 watt lamp connected through this right now, not not utilizing the extra ground current. So I just want to see how well efficient. So I know that I'm getting 110, 40 milliamps. I'm running a 3D inverter here. I'm going to turn this on, and sure enough, the light goes on 15 watts. So it's working very well for what it's supposed to be doing, uh, minus the tapping from the ground part but I think there's obviously an electrode effect because it's doing very good at lighting up the lamp the lamp is connected as you see here with the clips on one side of the coil here and on the other side which would be the ground I don't have a ground so it's just self looping it but doing a very good job at 40 milliamps anyways so I just wanted to share with you everyone this idea and what I've done different from other people is using the core as an electrode and energizing it as well like a um, microwave transformer. So two little modifications to the Kappa Gen which seems to make it work pretty darn good. So I'll let you go for now and leave you with that and um, I'll keep you up to date this summer as I finally find two distant ground points and see what, what more extra we can get from the ground potentials here. Thank you for watching.